Hello, hello. Hey guys. Uh, yeah, I'm back. Um, the first series. So I'll explain why I've been away for quite a while. Um, the first series. I don't know. I kind of lost where I was going with it. Um, didn't really. I don't know. Just oh, didn't really take off for me. Um, but I've had a lot of work. I've been working on Minecraft in this world for so 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 long as you can see over there there's a massive building and over here which I will show you these two in uh, another episode I'm gonna do um, some catch-up episodes um, this first episode I'd like to show you is the new texture pack um, which I think is Sfax 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 HD uh, B or BD uh, texture pack um, it's quite easy to find, it's quite a popular texture pack. Um, I wasn't keen on texture packs, but for this for me, the pictures, um, the textures, uh, the way it works with the grass, you see it goes the whole block. Um, and the same with the snow, and I, I just really, really like that. So um, I stuck with it. Um, another massive change that we have is that I am now uh, sporting the... Uh, Sony Vegas Pro 10, uh, which has been brilliant. Um, I'm so glad that I got that um, because now it's going to be full screen, and you guys will be able to see a lot more. And hopefully, it'll be a little bit more enjoyable to watch. There'll be more I can do with it, which I can't really do as much in uh, Windows Movie Maker. Um, now, I'm not sure that I showed you this whole house. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start a new series. Um, with uh, my new skin, which is Ash. My name's Ashley. It seemed to work, and I think the skin is awesome. I really, really like this skin. Um, so I'm going to start a new series with Ash, um, and I'm going to show you everything that I've done so far, and I've still got so many ideas that I want to stick with. So, um, firstly, for any new people, old people, you'll know that this is my house. Okay? Um... I'll be covering, this is only be a short episode, um, and I'll be covering this episode, the um, underground kind of lab kind of thing that I've made. Um, if you want to check out my tree farm, uh, or my tree house, go to my old series and you'll find uh, the videos for that. That's probably the easiest thing to do. Um, yeah, a great way to do a tree farm, which I got off a of rosium, and the same with the tree house. Um, but I'll show you under here. Um, so I have this here. This I don't think I've showed you either. So I'll show you this. This is my library. Um, I love the glass in this texture pack, by the way. Um, but yeah, and the books. This was my little glass room at the back of the house. Um, I think this looks awesome. Um, it was hard for me to get this uh, lapis azuli block. I think it's called. Um, but I've just got my first uh, level 50 pick, which I got a fortune pick, so that was a massive help because now when I mine one, I get like 25, 26. And the face is still here, old grumpy man. He's still in the rocks, silly guy. Um, <clears throat> this is the entrance to my underground area. Um, just some glowstone up there, I think it's a little bit neater. Um, and this is sandstone, uh, just some half blocks, it's pretty simple. Uh, thing to do um, and this is my downstairs um, I I kind of I've gone off using torches so if you put these um, pumpkins in the floor and make them jack-o'-lanterns by putting um, a what is it um, a torch in them a torch then they will still light up the room so I think it's a really really neat idea and I think they look pretty awesome as well um, so that's what I've done with that. Um, this wall, we've got the chests here, uh, crafting table, whatnot. Um, a glass doesn't count as a block when it comes to these crafting tables, um, so I kind of like it having it so it's in a little section and it can still open, which is good. Um, I finally got an obsidian gate um, to the nether, which I have built the whole of my uh, skyscraper out of, uh, which you'll see in a later episode, which I'm so excited for. Like, I've worked a lot on that, so it'll be good to finally have people see that. Uh, it's my enchanting area. Um, same old. I've just done a new pick, so I'm out at the moment. Um, I also have a uh, pathway, which I'll show you now, which goes over to... Oh, it's night time. 
it goes over because I found a spawner and I made uh, a mob farm um, but it didn't really it was kind of annoying because uh, I'd have to go through the tunnels and I always got lost so I ended up finding the coordinates and just uh, finding where it was on the top and digging down so I've made a staircase um, but I'll show you the mob spawner how that works uh, again in another video um, but yeah that's kind of the house and the underground when it goes to building this underground uh, kind of glass house thing um, one thing to keep in mind is the best way I've found to do it is to build a glass around the water and then kind of try and fill it as much as you can with dirt break the dirt and and just keep chipping away at the source blocks um, till you're finally empty it does take a while and I know it's not the perfect shape but I didn't really want it to be the perfect shape I kind of like it being just this big glass area underneath and being kind of part of it um, so that's why I went with that um, but if you need any help with it then just give me a bell but it's 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 pretty easy like I can't see anyone really having any troubles with it and I think it looks awesome um, when I have my building over there which we're not going to look too much at when that's all up I'm going to build a glass tunnel which will go all the way underground all the way under the ice uh, river that it's been built on um, and go underneath um, which will be a chore but it should be awesome it should be awesome so this is the tree farm if you want to look um, at how this is made I might do an annotation or just look through my videos we'll see uh, if I remember to do that um, and the same with my tree house which I'll just oh, I'll show you now here we are so um, basically just having trees and, and carving out what you need nice bedroom up here again if you want any ideas on how to do the treehouse I may put an annotation up which hopefully will pop up now um, and hopefully I will hopefully I will um, and as well with this um, again I don't want to show you too much of that I just get excited I just want to show you but I will do it in another video because I don't want to cover too much because I've done so much since my last video even though this will be a new series <coughs> um, yeah I'm doing little bite sized chunks so today really was just to show you guys um, kind of the extras to the house and my kind of underground lab area kind of just yeah I, I love the idea of building underwater or building in places that aren't necessarily meant to be built or you know obvious built so with the tree house and with this you know I just and it's the same um, if you come back to my video with that building there all these lines um, it's made from using that all the structure is made from using um, mushrooms and using bone meal on them um, to make them bigger um, and then you just stack them on top of each other and then and then build around there and you have your structure um, but yet again I will say I will cover that in another video um, these paths are, are new as well it's just stairs on the outside I thought it looked quite nice um, I'm, I'm generally quite annoyed that I built this in a snow biome because it does make it quite annoying because I like things to be really neat and they're just not neat at all because of all the snow everywhere um, but you know it will do so next video I'll be covering my uh, mushroom village which I made again is from um, the other mushrooms and uh, bone meal um, so come back for that um, I'm really psyched to get back and make another video um, and start really making getting them up on Vegas so I look forward to hearing from you guys please like or comment if you have anything to say um, oh yeah my living room as well fireplace stairs general I'm scared to put fire there because I don't want to set my house alight I'm genuinely scared about that so we have torches in there for the moment uh, this is just half blocks and then blocks of snow I'm gonna change the seats because it doesn't really match um, my see-through floor I forget how much I've done off camera that's what I kind of forget about but yeah um, please come back for more subscribe and I will see you guys soon peace